Well, obviously the season finale was so important. Are you happy with how it all went down? Yeah, I think, um, ha yeah, I think that we, I mean, we all knew what to expect by the end of the series, that we were going to say goodbye to a couple characters. Um, and so I think we were prepared, much more prepared for the tragedy than a lot of the fans and viewers were. But I think the writers did it um, in a beautiful way. And they, they were, they had a, you know, big challenge ahead of them, and I think they knocked it out of the park. Well, how do you feel the show is going to continue with that, Nina and Michael, obviously? Uh, yeah. Um, I think that, well, it's been such an ensemble cast. I mean, you obviously watch the show for so long. It's mm -hmm. really been, um, sometimes, you know, you don't have one character that's in every single scene all the time. So I definitely feel that this makes more room for the villains that are coming in. <laughs> and like a more badass Bonnie. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. It's gonna, I'm excited. I love, I love change, but like not too much. <laughs> But I love change, so I'm, I'm excited for the new season. What's kind of exciting is that it is this new world. I mean, the fact that you're going into the next season not just saying like, hey, what's what's going to happen with that one situation that we're all waiting for this cliffhanger? It's like, what, other, what kind of world are we going to come back into in a couple months when the show comes back? Do you feel like um, Bonnie's going to feel a bit guilty or anything like that? Because obviously while she lives, Elena sleeps. I mean, I think that Bonnie feels guilty for a lot of things. <laughs> She feels guilty about her grams. She feels guilty about the Elena, I'm sure. I mean, this is a character that has had to make sacrifices, and even when she did make the sacrifices she thought she needed to, she winded up losing some, a lot of it herself, you know, in a lot of ways. So um, I think she's finally on this, I'm going to do what I need to do for myself place. And I really like that. And I think everyone kind of wants to know what's going on with Caroline and Stefan as well. Uh, yes, and I'm very interested to see what happens <laughs> with Caroline and Stefan. Um, I love that it's been, you know, as Julie Plex says, such a slow burn um, over the seasons, and it didn't like rush into it. And you know, it's you're kind of. I, I like that there's so many so much tension between the characters and mm. and um, where it's kind of like walking such a thin line of like <laughs> they're either gonna work out great or this is gonna be such a tragic <laughs> um, disaster oh, so um, we'll see what happens I'm excited though. yeah I, have to, I love Damon and Bonnie as a they're, friendship group yeah now. Ian and I do some really great work together we work with um, Ivana Chubbuck who's incredible and uh, whether he's directing or he's in a scene with me he's like He's just awesome. We really connect. Yeah. Do you think we'll see that friendship grow even stronger? Then? I hope so. And it'll be great because his wife is, is going to come by on set and she's also oh. a phenomenal actress. And, you know, she's, um, I've done like audition tapes with her and she's given me like amazing acting notes and stuff like that. So it's just going to be like all, all the peeps, the whole family, we're all in it. It's very exciting. Obviously as well as Stefan, there's all that weird thing with Enzo as well. Do you think there's going to be anything coming up with that? I think Enzo's going to have to figure out kind of his new purpose in, in, in Mystic Falls. And I think we've seen it with, um, we, I, I'm glad that we got to hear more about his, or see his backstory. And the fact that he, you know, had this kind of relationship, not romantic, but this, um, you know, that he was create, turned into a vampire by Stefan and Damon's mm. mother. And, you know, he was abandoned and, you know, this, he wants to be part of this family. And, um, and so that's kind of we're figuring out that like this Enzo character, he's really just like this lone orphan that just wants to be part of a family. Yeah. And he, you know, no one wants to welcome him in, unfortunately. <laughs> so hopefully he finds his place this oh, year. I know. So I know. Like, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see um, you know, Stefan and Damon's mom and, and kind of like her kind of vampire family, you know, that what they're gonna do and if if they have any place in this new Mystic Falls.